Hello, dear friends. Welcome to the Propulsion Engineering Admissions Webinar. My name is Anastasia and I work at the International Department. And today, me and my colleagues will tell you about the second largest field in our university, about the School of Aircraft, Rocket Engines and Power Plants, the school number two. Now let's welcome our colleagues who uh, will be telling you today about the advancements and prospects of future technologies closely related to the field of propulsion. Please welcome Mr. Nikolai Karalev, the deputy dean of the school, uh, the deputy dean of the school uh, responsible for international activity. Hello. Professor Yuri Ravikovich, the vice rector for science and also the head of the department 203, construction and design of engines. Good afternoon. And Mr. Ivan Platonov, Assistant Professor of the Department 204, Aircraft and Spacecraft Heat Engineering. Good day to you all. On our today's agenda, we'll discuss the following. Uh, the future of the largest branch in the aviation industry. About how the School of Propulsion Engineering trains people who will be at the forefront of the power industry. And uh, also we will tell you how to study with us. Please feel free to ask all your questions below this broadcast. We will try to answer everything. Um, and now we will start with uh, a brief introduction to the key technologies that the, the school uh, is actively developing. Please have a look at the screen. Now we have got a short overview about where the technologies of propulsion can be used, about the main areas. And now I'd like to ask uh, Professor Ravikovic to introduce his school and to say a few words uh, about the fields and just about the second largest school at MAI. Uh, dear friend, uh, propulsion system and the engine, of course, is a very important, is the main part of uh, all type of vehicle. And uh, airplane, a helicopter, unmanned uh, airplane, and helico helicopter too. And our institute uh, now is uh, institute number one, two. Uh, the, his name is uh, now is the uh, aviation uh, rocket and uh, power plant. Uh, in this year, our institute as MAI, we have a celebration, 90 year old. Uh, our institute 
our institute number two and the institute number one is the aviation uh, tech techniques. It's the first uh, faculty, it's the first school in our uh, Mai University. Mai University is uh, founded in the 1930. Uh, today, our institute is a very big uh, education school. I think it's the education school on the engine, on the propulsion system is number one in the Russia. It's the one of the big in the world school. Now our institute have uh, seven departments. Uh, he, uh, and several, several uh, laboratories uh, in our institute. Uh, for example, on our institute work more than 200 professors and uh, several thousand uh, engineers, several thousand scientific research. Uh, many times, uh, many years, I am uh, a head of uh, construction design department of our institute, uh, department number 203. On our department, uh, we have a special program uh, for education for international students. And uh, now this information for you. Uh, uh, and uh, this uh, department in the, our institute, it's not only the education, a big educational uh, complex, it's the, uh, and the scientific and research uh, uh, institute. We work with uh, many enterprises in our country. Uh, we work with uh, international organization. Uh, for example, for our country, uh, our scientific and uh, teachers work under the new uh, engine. For example, uh, PDE uh, 14 for our the new Russian uh, aircraft MS-21. Uh, it's a new engine for PDE 8 for our uh, aircraft uh, <coughs> Superjet new. Uh, new uh, engine for PDE 35 for uh, China, Russia, new uh, aircraft uh, CR uh, nine to nine. For me, it's uh, clear that our if you receive uh, if you receive a specialization of uh, engine or propulsion system, it's uh, you have a speci special specialization not only engine and the propulsion system. We we can to work on the industry on the uh, white uh, uh, field. It's the uh, industry uh, for power plant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, I think the second question uh, we would like, uh, we would like uh, you to answer. It is said that propulsion system is probably the main one in the aircraft. It combines a huge amount of advanced technological solutions, uh, which actually determine the success of the aircraft. And could you please say a few words about the trends in the propulsion engineering field now and uh, which of these uh, trend technologies are being developed at Moscow Aviation Institute? Okay, I think uh, several uh, trends on the our uh, engine industry in the our country and the world. For example, the first, it's uh, now the uh, many science on the world in the, our country work on the, how the increasing the efficiency is the whole element of uh, engine. For example, efficiency of uh, compressor, efficiency of turbine, uh, chamber, uh, rotors, uh, bearings and seals and so on. Uh, we uh, spoke uh, that uh, we speak that uh, we uh, work under the uh, generation number five of engine. Uh, 
in the world. And uh, uh, now I uh, uh, spoke about the new uh, engine in the, this uh, engine is the element of this engine in the generation number five. Then the next trends uh, and uh, uh, <coughs> hybrid uh, power plant. What's mean here? It's a combination of not only uh, gas turbine engine in the warm machine, in the electrical uh, motors, motors and uh, 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 <coughs> combinate of this element. And uh, I think it's a very uh, pr perspective uh, direction in the world uh, trend in the propulsion system. The next is the uh, combined <coughs> uh, power system is the combined in the gas turbine engine and the uh, uh, ram gem, gem uh, engine. For this is a very perspective system with a high speed uh, vehicle, high speed aircraft. Uh, I think it's a very perspective in the new uh, type of engine, a new uh, small engine, very effective engine for gas turbine and uh, piston engine too. I think is, uh, uh, if you speak about the manufacturing uh, perspective uh, system, I think is, uh, uh, now it's a very perspective mathematic model of all element uh, engine and the engine in the wall. For example, in my e, now work is uh, big, <coughs> this center of mathematic model, and uh, there is a laboratory of engine mathematic model too. If you uh, speak about the perspective uh, manufacturing uh, process, I, uh, can to say about the uh, additive technology. It's a very perspective technology in the world, in our country now, and my we have a, uh, this type of center, and now we work very hard on the uh, development of this center. And uh, next is the <coughs> composite system and the ceramic materials for different type of engine. And uh, now we have in MAI this type of uh, center and we work very hard on the development of this center too. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was uh, pretty interesting, guys. As you can see, um, the majority of the prospective technologies uh, that are widely used. They are also used uh, not only in the aircraft design, but also in the propulsion design. Also, once again, thank you very much. Um, we will further discuss our programs, uh, our departments, how uh, can uh, students uh, uh, become successful in their aforementioned fields, uh, fields during their studies. After the video, we will meet Mr. Alexey Zarechinsky, who will answer from the international department, sorry. Uh, he will answer all your questions related to the admission, to the exams. Uh, so we see your questions on this broadcast. Uh, it's better to speak about the school after showing the main facilities to you. So uh, please have a look at the, ex at the video tour around the School of Propulsion Engineering. Hello, dear future students of Moscow Aviation Institute. I'm glad to welcome you at the main hall of the academic building of the school number two, aircraft, rocket engines and power plants. My name is Anastasia and I work at the International Department. And today I will show you where students of this school study, work and spend their free time. The school number two is the largest in Russia scientific and educational complex in the field of propulsion engineering. And in this hall you can see many samples of unique aircraft engines equipment. For example, this unit is from MiG-29 Russian fighter. 
And this is not all. Today uh, we will show you the labs and classrooms with all necessary equipment that students use during their studies. In these large, spacious classrooms, the best Russian professors in propulsion engineering read their lectures. For example, this very class is named after Dr. Valentin Glushkov, the outstanding Soviet scientist and engineer in rocket and space technologies. Now we are in the mathematical modeling classroom. Here, students study heat, gas dynamic and work processes simulation in gas turbine engines. These computers have such a capacity that allows to produce all calculations and models for master or PhD thesis. This is the educational and museum complex of the school number two. Different samples of advanced Russian and international propulsion systems are actively used in the educational process. All engines here are dissected, so it is done so the students could thoroughly study all the units and parts of the system. And I'd like to mention this very example. It is called D25V. It was installed on the Soviet heavy multi-purpose helicopter Mi-6. Welcome to the Interdisciplinary Resource Center. Any ambitious engineering thought of a student can be brought into life with the help of additive manufacturing. In the industry, this technology is widely used to help significantly reduce the testing time of the units and parts. Here I am having the operational CubeSat that was created in this lab and successfully launched by the students of the school number two. Now I have shown you the smallest part of what we have in Moscow Aviation Institute. We are looking forward to seeing you with us. Guys, I'm glad that you have jointly with me actually visited all the facilities in, uh, in the school number two. Uh, as you can see, we are striving to create the most uh, comfortable and convenient environment for our students so uh, they could feel um, as they are in the learning uh, environment. And we uh, welcome Mr. Alexey Zarechinsky, the deputy head of the international department. Hello. And um, I think uh, we will start with the, our with the main programs at school, uh, with um, bachelor's and also master's program, with the main departments and all other questions related to the educational process. And uh, uh, my colleague, Mr. Nikolai, uh, is actually the program head at the school number two. Uh, and um, we'd like to ask him uh, what are the departments and the areas that are um, uh, conducting the English medium programs. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, in Institute number two, we have uh, two main programs. It's the uh, bachelor and master program. So, the study of uh, engines begin with the uh, bachelor program. It's the department 201, uh, theory and uh, calculation of gas turbine engines. Uh, in this uh, program, you will see a lot of uh, disciplines, uh, a lot of theory questions that will be raised uh, during your education. And um, uh, in the end, uh, I will create a bachelor work uh, where we will uh, understand how to calculate engine, uh, all the parameters uh, what need to be created. And um, you see the all uh, characteristics, parameters of engine uh, that are very important uh, for industry and um, um, we need to create to be successful to create successful engine. And uh, about the master programs, uh, in this we have uh, three departments. Uh, it's the department uh, 203. Uh, it's the design and uh, construction of gas turbine engine. And uh, department 204, heat transfer of uh, gas turbine engine, the same. And uh, department 205, it's the manuf uh, pre perspective manufacturing technology of a gas turbine engine. Uh, as you see, we uh, covered a uh, whole uh, life cycle process of uh, engine and uh, we have uh, such uh, departments uh, and um, you will get uh, lessons uh, in this master programs uh, from each department. And uh, if you choose a uh, department, for example, department 203, uh, you will study um, a lot of uh, construction uh, how we can calculate the vibration, uh, durability of the engine, uh, a lot of uh, 
mathematical modelings and uh, so on. So very uh, perspective uh, and um, a very interesting department. And uh, department 204 um, is the que raise the question uh, a lot of is uh, uh, calculation of heat transfer, uh, gas dynamic flow, uh, the chamber, uh, high chamber, how we need to protect it, and uh, the final dissertation of the final master dissertation uh, we will uh, will be raised uh, very um, uh, modern questions uh, and uh, very new uh, and specific materials uh, what can be implemented in the uh, in this uh, area. So, and uh, the last uh, department uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, in which uh, master students studies is uh, the manufacturing technology uh, department uh, where we see um, 3D printing and uh, additive technology, uh, cover, uh, cover technology, how we can uh, create the layers uh, some with some special characteristics in details and uh, what parameters uh, we can achieve uh, by implementing these covers on the, uh, our details. Uh, so you can choose uh, this department and uh, you can see uh, in each uh, subject uh, the, your uh, you can find any interesting ideas and uh, you can uh, create uh, maybe your own ideas and try to implement by uh, using the materials of these departments. Uh, all teachers will be uh, glad to see you and uh, glad to give you all materials where can, where can, uh, they will have. Thank okay. you very much. I think uh, I will uh, sum up a little bit for students so they could easier uh, understand. So on the bachelor's, we have one program at the department theory of air breathing engines, 201, correct? Yes, yes, of course. Yes, and on the master's, there are three programs. Uh, one about uh, the construction of gas turbine engines. Yes. Uh, second one is about heat and mass transfer. Yes. And the third one is about manufacturing. Manufacturing technology, yes. Yes. Um, actually, it's important to mention that we are speaking about the aircraft engines. Uh, so, <laughs> please don't don't uh, mistook them. We don't speak, uh, despite the fact that the school deals with a huge uh, amount of the fields. Uh, the, these programs are about aircraft engines. Don't mistake them. Um, thank you very much. Um, Ivan, uh, I know that uh, you are um, supervising um, master students. And um, a frequent question is about how their theses are being held, because I think it's a little bit different to supervise a master thesis and bachelor's one, because master's has to be a little bit more like practice and scientific oriented. So can you please tell us about the thesis uh, uh, on the master's degree? Yeah, I can. So basically we need to uh, separate the um, bachelor and master's uh, programs. Um, bachelor's uh, degree uh, consists of the main theory. Uh, you have your uh, ground uh, work laying to you. Uh, you learn all the basics that you need uh, to successfully work uh, in the field and uh, to successfully uh, proceed to the master's degree. So mostly it's theoretical work and uh, the problems that are solved uh, by bachelor's are actually quite simple and uh, standard, uh, standard. When you go to the master's uh, degree, the programs uh, become much more complex. Uh, you basically start to work on uh, uh, real life uh, problems. You start to uh, get acquainted with uh, real engines and uh, try to find out how it works, what happens with it. Uh, so, uh, so that I think. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh, Alexei. I see uh, there there was a question about um, the internships, but let's make this question a little bit more general. And could you give uh, the potential students an overview where to work after graduation, just mm -hmm. in general? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so um, our alumni have a very wide uh, job opportunities. Uh, let's take a look from different angles. Uh, first, uh, 
the field uh, of um, of the job uh, it's uh, aircraft companies propulsion companies space companies IT companies all over the world uh, and uh, for sure global high-tech companies uh, uh, because our students are in demand uh, the next angle which we should take a look at uh, is um, the country where they work after graduating. Some uh, guys are coming back to their native countries and work here. Uh, for example, in China you can work in uh, Comac uh, after aircraft engineering or in uh, Aero Engine China Corporation after propulsion engineering. Uh, some guys go to Europe or to United States and work in NASA or Airbus, Boeing. Uh, and some of them stay in Russia and work here at the high-tech companies. Uh, some of them work in our university. Uh, and the main idea which you should keep in mind that uh, being my alumni means being in demand. That's for sure. And our diploma is uh, very well recognized all over the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, also, I'd like uh, to once again mention that um, uh, the uh, future technologies that are currently wide, uh, widespread, uh, such as composite materials, mathematical modeling, they are uh, implemented into a curriculum of Moscow Aviation Institute. That is why uh, our uh, education is very like timely and adapted to the recent trends. And speaking about uh, the educational process. Uh, could you please uh, give us um, the, the ratio of the theoretical and practical disciplines and uh, how uh, the process is generally tailored? What students study during their first year, during second and uh, at the master's? Because sometimes students, when uh, they come the first year, they think that they will be designing uh, the whole, I don't know, the whole engine from the very first day. And uh, uh, they are quite disappointed. So uh, could you please uh, uh, tell us how it works? Uh, so yes, sometimes they are. And um, in Bachelor, we have uh, more than 40 uh, uh, disciplines. Uh, and uh, they consist of uh, three main blocks. It's uh, humanitarian blocks and the mathematical and uh, a professional block. Uh, so in the first uh, two years, uh, if we talk about the bachelor program, uh, we can see a lot of humanitarian blocks and the mathematical. Uh, they construct the layer uh, where, we'll, uh, where we uh, will start the uh, professional engineering uh, subjects. Uh, and uh, in, the, in the third course and the fourth, uh, we will be, we will be, will be uh, some subject by professional courses. And uh, sometimes there will be the professor which will be your uh, future supervisors for diploma and so on, you can uh, ask them. And if you want some uh, interesting, uh, if you, you will have on the third course uh, some interesting question and uh, maybe begin your uh, future product, uh, future product, or maybe problem. Um, about the practice and theory, and uh, in the bachelor, it's mostly maybe a lot of uh, theoretical question and uh, about 30% uh, of uh, all education will be the practice. Uh, and uh, if we compare to the master program, in the, uh, they will be 60% uh, uh, prox uh, percent of uh, all lessons will be practiced and lab works and uh, your work on your dissertation. It's, I think it's all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, uh, I'm actually uh, supervising academic mobility students, incoming academic mobility, and those who are coming to the School of Propulsion Engineering, they are uh, uh, very like satisfied with the large amount of practical training because they are often do many calculations i don't know they do some more computer models and they really like it because uh, it's um, not many universities that allows and such a deep uh, give such a deep knowledge in in this field uh, and uh, mai has a huge lab ba basis as you have seen uh, in the excursion um also, uh, could you please uh, tell us just briefly what are the key professional disciplines on the bachelors? And um, later, I think we will discuss uh, the master's program. 
just uh, what the main like professional disciplines would will be taught um so all of the discipline uh, they very important uh, in each if you choose um, um, to the department to zero free uh, um, in we talk about the uh, bachelor degree yeah yes. it's to okay uh, so it's mainly uh, theoretical or theory of uh, blade machine uh, theory of gas turbine engine that will be in the with two semesters uh, it's the disciplines uh, we talk about uh, the calculation of uh, durability and um, I think uh, and all subjects uh, where uh, department uh, will provide it for you. So some special department, some sp subject will be uh, provided by the uh, the professor so from the department uh, where will uh, you studied, and uh, all the subject is very important. Uh, and um, um, according to this activity, uh, the professor understand uh, your wish uh, for. Uh, for learning and uh, for the um, understanding new material and uh, most important and and what he can give you um, and the return to your first question it will be uh, I think it's a uh, calculation of blade machine of course it will be one of the most important subjects for me <laughs> I would like to I inject here and say that uh, I I don't think so. I think that the most important one uh, will be thermodynamics and uh, heat transfer. So th those uh, are quite important in uh, every uh, engine and every working machine. So not only the uh, turbine blade uh, theory that you talk about, but uh, thermodynamics. So study it well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ivan. By the way, uh, as I correctly un understood, I hope uh, you are currently teaching the master's students. Yes, and um, can you please tell us how can student apply the obtained knowledge during his previous years? Uh, the example of uh, your discipline, computational fluid dynamics. Yes, I uh, of course I can do so. Uh, so, as uh, Professor Ravikovic uh, said previously, uh, in uh, our institute we have a uh, sector for a cluster for computational fluid dynamics and uh, a sector for um, basically performing simulations. Uh, so, I should probably mention w what's it all about. Uh, previously, every production or design of an engine started with pen and paper. You uh, drew uh, the uh, drawings, uh, you perform some experiment to find out what happens uh, and then you manufacture it and it flies. Uh, nowadays uh, the trend or the perspective uh, is to move into the virtual uh, space, into the virtual reality. So nowadays most of uh, enterprises uh, work with computer assistant uh, programs such as CAD and CAI computer-assisted engineering. Uh, basically, we use uh, the computer, uh, a powerful computer, uh, to simulate uh, any physical process that we are interested in. So this is uh, the computational fluid uh, dynamics that I teach is one uh, of such uh, simulation uh, clusters. Uh, and basically what we do, and uh, this is to answer your question, uh, about uh, how a, a student can apply their knowledge. Uh, during the bachelor uh, degree, you learn the theory, you understand the uh, process, the laws by which uh, the engine works, and then during the mas uh, master's degree, uh, you heavily rely on practice. And you uh, try to do the following in my class, personally. We take an engine, we basically separate it into its components like the uh, intake, the compressor, the combustion chamber, the turbine and the exhaust nozzle. And we perform simulations of what happens with each stage, uh, how, uh, how one part affects another. We can simulate, we can calculate and find out the overall performance of an engine 
And as a student uh, during the uh, the last semester, I believe, or two semesters, when you start to work on your uh, thesis, uh, on your dissertation, uh, you basically uh, pick a, a topic uh, that you are interested in, interested in and uh, in which the each department has uh, specializations uh, and uh, so the theme of your to uh, of your dissertation will be uh, according to the uh, proficiency of uh, each department and then you uh, perform a simulation uh, basically as a result when you exit the institute uh, as an engineer uh, you will uh, have the experience to working on uh, modern uh, modern uh, computer assisted uh, programs that uh, almost all uh, major uh, manufacturers and enterprises use so you basically uh, perform an engineering uh, solve an engineering pro uh, problem uh, as a, a master student so Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like was really interesting. So I just got got listened, got involved into it. So it was really interesting. Um, I also saw one uh, question in the live stream: uh, How students uh, choose the curricula? Um, actually, I think I'll answer. Maybe you will uh, amend me if I miss something. But um, in Russia, students uh, uh, in Russia the curricula is fixed. So when you apply for a program, you choose the department 203, 204, or 205. And you, sweet, uh, and you study in accordance with this program. However, there might be some elective disciplines uh, that are um, available, but it depends uh, on uh, the year, on the program, and how it, is, how it was decided. <laughs> yes, it's correct, yeah. So the free curriculum is uh, fixed and... Uh, can create the program uh, by yourself so yeah it's uh, it's also important it's it's fixed um, I think now we will we'll switch a little bit to the admission questions thank you very much dear Cox it was really interesting guys if you have uh, any questions related to the education to um, different um, to the disciplines to the educational process you can ask them in the live stream we will uh, check them and try to answer and now i think um, uh, lexi could you please tell our students the main question how to apply uh, okay uh, so the admission procedure is following uh, first of all you know the level of your education and you apply for bachelor's or for master's degree uh, you send us uh, via email your educational documents and the scan of your passport. Uh, our mail, you may find it on our website or here at the description for this video, int at mai.ru. After we receive it, we check the documents if uh, it's eligible. For example, if you want to apply for propulsion, engineering and you have a bachelor's uh, diploma in mechanical engineering then you can apply it's not a problem but for example if you have a degree in psychology so it wouldn't work so we check the document documents and uh, send you back uh, the application form or you also may find it on our website you fill it in to the program aircraft engineering spacecraft engineering propulsion engineering control systems or computer science and engineering uh, and send it back to us. We prepare the contract with uh, all the information regarding your program. Tuition fees, uh, uh, duration, uh, the name of the program and we send it back to you. You sign the contract and send us the copy. After that you can uh, apply for exams which we hold online. Uh, so we will get the schedule of exams. Uh, it takes uh, about one week to prepare for this because there are two week slots uh, for all the summer for these exams. And um, before that, you should check the connection. You should uh, have a good internet connection. You should uh, have a uh, web camera for the exam. So after you 
you are going to pass the exam, uh, you at the same time can make a prepayment uh, by your contract. Uh, so after we, uh, you pass the exam and we receive the prepayment, after that we can enroll you as a student. And uh, after we receive the prepayment, we prepare the invitation letter for you to arrive in Russia. So um, the admission is already opened. It will be open till September 1st uh, uh, in programs in uh, Russian medium, and it will be open till um, October 1st for English medium programs. And um, it seems that you have the whole summer, but um, we strongly recommend uh, not to hesitate, not to delay the process, and um, send us the documents now in, the, in June or in beginning of July. So that's how it works. Thank you. Also, uh, I have uh, mentioned uh, that I'm responsible for the economic mobility and I'd like to say a few words about the opportunities for students studying with us. Uh, starting from the third year of the bachelor's program and the from the first year, second semester of the master's program, uh, you can apply for uh, academic mobility internship in one of our partner universities. And actually, MAI has more than 60 partnerships with different universities. Um, they include European and the Asian ones. And um, from Europe, uh, there are such universities as Technical University of Munich, Polytechnico di Torino, Technical University of Vienna. In Asia, it's the largest and uh, top uh, uh, Chinese universities, such as uh, Jaizan University, Shanghai Jiaotong University, Beihang University, and many other so if you are if you have uh, a sufficient academic performance and a good command of uh, English or Chinese or French or German uh, you can use this uh, perfect opportunity to gain uh, the competences uh, that um, uh, from the, uh, the competences from another university so please uh, consider this also uh, maybe the second uh, most important questions for students the, who come to Russia for studies is where to live and uh, could you please tell us if uh, what are the hostel conditions how to find uh, how to get into our hostel mm -hmm. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we have a hostel for international students. It's uh, around 30 minutes from uh, the university. Uh, it's not a big distance for Moscow, for a huge uh, megapolis. Um, so um, our students live uh, in blocks for five people. There are two rooms, one for two people, one for three people, and a bathroom. And on the floor, they have a kitchen on each floor. So um, uh, the hostel fees are $90 per, year, per, per month. It doesn't include intuition fees in our educational programs. Um, and um, I think that is it. So the conditions are pretty well for students uh, and uh, the hostel is under security 24 hours. Uh, and uh, I think uh, it's pretty comfortable to live here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, also, uh, maybe students, uh, often students are interested if they apply for one program, can they further switch to another one if they, for example, understand that it's too, um, uh, too uninteresting for them or they want to do something other in their lives? Can they switch to another program? Mm, uh, yeah, I think it's an uh, exception, it's not a rule, but uh, sometimes when you arrive from a faraway country, it's not so easy to choose the exact uh, uh, direction what you're interested in, or maybe here you will meet the professor or you will see the laboratory of uh, another faculty which uh, will um, change your mind. So. Uh, as Nikolai said, uh, even uh, within the program you can switch uh, the um, department. Uh, but for example, if you arrived and uh, applied for aircraft engineering and you want to switch to propulsion engineering, then uh, it's possible within the first two years of bachelor's program and within the first year of master's programs because the curriculum is pretty common. 
Thank you. And um, now I think I, I don't see any like additional questions. Also, my colleagues are very like timely. I uh, answer everything in the live stream. Uh, let's discuss uh, the last two main questions, the key questions. Uh, how and when will be held online exam? How to pass the exams to our programs? Yeah. This is uh, the yeah. question. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the question. Uh, so after, as I already mentioned, you've signed the contract, uh, we've received it. Uh, you can choose the slot, the date of exam. We will provide you with the dates. For example, if you pass for bachelor's degree, you must uh, pass math and physics uh, for three programs, aircraft engineering, propulsion engineering, and spacecraft engineering. And if you apply to control systems and computer science and engineering, you should pass uh, math and IT. If you apply for master programs, you pass uh, the discipline, for example, propulsion engineering for p propulsion engineering. So you made the prepayment, you, or, no, sorry, uh, you've signed the contract and uh, you know the time when you will pass the exam, for example, July 1st. Uh, and uh, about a week before that uh, event, you will have the link to check the connection. You will have the programs uh, installed at your computer, which will uh, let you to pass the exam. So you're sitting in your room or somewhere with a good internet connection, maybe an internet cafe if it's working, opens, I don't know. Uh, and uh, with a web camera, you will receive uh, the uh, tasks. You will print it or maybe just open it uh, on your screen. Uh, and you have two hours to pass the exam. After that, you make a picture of uh, your answers and send it back to us. Uh, within a few days, we check your results. And uh, if everything is fine, we say that that's fine, you're admitted. So that's how it works. Thank you. And uh, another question, I think it's probably to Nikolai and Ivan, how to get prepared for the entrance examination? I think this is mainly related to the master's programs because uh, for the bachelor there, well, there are school disciplines such as physics, maths, um, IT. Uh, but how to get prepared for master's if there are any textbooks or materials to use? Just in, in brief okay i will ask and uh, i will uh, tell you uh, in these tickets uh, you will find the simple questions that uh, open the basis theory of gas dynamic uh, thermodynamic and um, the answer of, uh, for this question you may find uh, in uh, open source uh, books and uh, in the resources um, and um, if we tell about uh, thermodynamic, I will recommend it, uh, you, uh, the books uh, by the author uh, Abramovich. You may find them in the internet, uh, they in English, uh, and uh, you can download it. it. And uh, about the spe specific uh, subjects, uh, Ivan, maybe you can help me. So I believe that uh, if you are trying to go into the master's program, a good uh, advice would be to look up the bachelor's degree program uh, because some uh, topics will be covered there, some information may be placed there, like uh, the recommended literature uh, from, for, the, uh, for the bachelor's degree uh, is uh, basically accepted uh, for the master's. Basically, to enter the master's uh, program, uh, you need to know uh, very well physics, mathematics, thermodynamics, uh, fluid of dynamics. Uh, all of those uh, topics are covered in the ba uh, bachelor's uh, program. Uh, so you can look there. Also, you can uh, ask, uh, contact the international department and they will uh, in time uh, contact uh, the departments uh, into which you want to apply uh, to Ask uh, the future teachers uh, what kind of lit literature uh, is uh, expected uh, of you to know or to prepare. So, uh, I think that. Thank you. Thank you. I think it. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, 
let me add um, and announce that we've already prepared some um, admission webinars uh, where we um, were teachers standing and uh, uh, saying how to solve the exam. For example, math, uh, physics, and uh, for master degrees uh, separately. So uh, I think that uh, within this week or maybe next week, we will uh, put it on our website. Uh, you will be able to find it. And for sure, we will um, send it to all the guys who are interested, uh, who the mail we have. So it could help you to prepare for the exams and to understand the level which we need. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Um, so I think these uh, are all questions that we have um, uh, or we had on the agenda. Guys, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, prepare for exams. The exam uh, dates, I think, will be published uh, on, on the uh, web uh, website. Usually we send it to oh, the guys so, who, so, sorry, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, pretty uh, private. So please write us an inquiry. The contact details you will be uh, can be found uh, after the live stream on the uh, on the screen. Please write us an email and register for exams and then prepare. And oh, once again, thank you very much. Uh, see you with us. See you guys.